The solid lies between planes perpendicular to the x-axis and x equals 4. The cross sections perpendicular to the axis on the interval uh, are squares whose diagonals run from parabola y equals negative root x to the parabola y equals root x. Okay, so this is y equals square root of x. This is y equals square root of negative x. And we have squares here, but they're diagonals. The diagonals of the squares go from y equals root x to y equals negative root x. So this is a square. So that one diagonal is y equals negative root x, the other diagonal is y equals root x. And so we want to find the volume of this. So first we want to find the area of a square. So let's say we're given diagonals. How do we figure out what the area of a square is? Well for a square, the diagonal bisects the angle. So this is a 45, 45. This is also 45 and 45. And these are 90 degrees. So it's a 45, 45, 90 triangle, which this side is d over root 2. Or you can think of this as d root 2 over 2. And this is also the same side, d root 2, d over root 2, which is d root 2 over 2. So if I'm trying to find the area of this, it's just each of the sides squared. So I'm just going to choose d over root 2 squared will be d squared over 2. So this is the formula that I need. I need to take the diagonals, square them, and divide by 2. That's going to go inside the integral. And we're going from 0 to 4. The diagonal goes from y equals root x to y equals negative root x. So if you subtract those, and then you're going to divide by the square root of 2, and then you're going to square that. So we have the integral from 0 to 4, 2 root x over root 2 squared dx. So you can simplify this. 2 over square root of 2 is square root of 2. And that's square root of 2 times square root of x quantity squared. If you square the 2, it becomes 2. If you square the square root of x, it becomes x. So that's 2x. Integrate, you get x squared. Evaluating it from 0 to 4. Plug in 4 to get 16. And then if you plug in 0, it's just 0. So 16 is the volume.